Good morning students. Today I am going to start new chapter that is structure and functions of a plant. The main objective of this lesson are to identify the different parts of a plant, to understand the function of each part of a plant, draw labeled diagrams of different parts of a plant, perform various activities related to plant parts. First, I will tell you the big picture. In this chapter, we will study about parts of plant, root system, shoot system and their functions, types of roots, leaf and its functions, flowers, fruits and seeds. Now, open your book on page 14, Lesson 2, Structure and Functions of a Plant. Students, before going to start, first I will discuss terms of this chapter. Number 1, Root System. Number 2, Shoot System. Number 3, Tap Root. Number 4, Fibrous Root. Next, Stomata. Next, Photosynthesis and last is trunk. While we go through the chapter, we will discuss all these terms turn by turn. Now, today I will discuss root system and shoot system. Root system, the part of a plant which grows under the ground. Shoot system, the part of a plant which grows above the ground. Now let's start reading. Our body is made up of many parts such as head, arms, legs, etc. The body of a plant is also made of many parts. Each part of a plant has its own function. Underline word function and write its meaning purpose. All these parts work together to keep the plant alive. Underline work together and write its meaning with each other. Then underline word alive and write its meaning has life. Let us now learn about each part of a plant and how it helps the plant. Students, plants are living things like human beings and animals. They also need air, water and sunlight to grow. Plants are made up of different parts. Now read, look carefully at this picture of a plant given here. Now, try to write the names of its different parts. Underline word carefully and write its meaning attentively. Students, look at this picture. Now, let's learn about the different parts of a plant. Number one, these are roots and they grow under the ground. Next, the, this is stem and it is a long part of a plant which bears leaves, fruits, branches, etc. This part of a plant is called fruit and it contains seed. This is called leaf and it is also called kitchen of a plant. And the last, this is a flower and it is a colorful part of a plant. So students, we have learned different parts of a plant. Now, next paragraph. A plant has two main systems, the root system and the shoot system. The part of a plant which grows under the ground is called root system. 
underline word under and write its meaning below. Now look at this picture. This part of a plant is called root system. It grows under the ground. It contains only roots and it provides minerals and water to the plant. Now next line. The part of a plant which grows above the ground is called shoot system. Underline word above and write its meaning upwards. Student, look at this picture. This part of the plant is called shoot system. It grows above the ground and it bears stem, flower, fruit, leaf and many other different parts of the plant. Now let's revise. Name the different systems of a plant. A plant is made up of root system and shoot system. Name the system of a plant that grows under the ground. A root system of a plant grows under the ground. What does shoot system consist of? Shoot system consists of stem, leaves, fruits and flower. Students, tomorrow I will continue with the next topic. Till then, read the chapter and revise terms and questions. Thank you.